that this is a six inch plate. So three is the center. All right, this is a six inch plate. The center is at three. So we'll make a little mark indicator to let us know where we're at three. This is a four inch tube. So I know the center is at two. Two is half of four. Three is half of six. Those are the centers. The centers of the material is the center point. I'm gonna use this little baby square here because that's just what's close and accessible to me. I don't also can use aluminum square, whatever works there, okay? This is a little better. Yeah. Nice solid mark, okay? Here. Nice solid mark, okay? Now, how do we have center? This side. Top. This is work gloves. PPE is much needed. You never know when you're going to be dealing with hot material. It looks about right to me. So that's center. Now, see, it's hanging off that way. I don't want that. I want to make sure it stays flush like that when I tack it. So I'll probably hold it or I could put this place the rest of the way down. That might tell that for me. There I go. No wobble, no play, no none of that. Okay? Tack the corners. Quick tacks on each side. Actually, I don't even have to flip it. Normally, I'd roll it and do the other side, but I can do it from here. This anti spatter. This just keeps keep the spatter from off the plate, cleans it up a little bit, makes a nice welding workpiece. Just try not to bring it, breathe in the fumes. It's toxic. Just spray a little bit on, just like that. I got the fan blowing on me for ventilation. The door is open. We're not far from it, so I'm not breathing it in. I hold my breath when I take this pass. So I don't have a lot of that smoke under my nose, so uh, that's my technique. I'm trying to wear my mask. Now for the welding. I'm gonna start in this corner here and I'm gonna go for the push motion all the way continuous. Start from here and then I'm gonna push all the way down so I get to the other side. 